everyone, it's Kezi over here from Kezi's Corner and welcome to my video. <laughs> welcome to my video. I say usually, I say welcome to my channel, so I don't know what happened over here. All right, anyways, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kezia and this is my corner. I would love it if you would press subscribe and join my family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming to watch yet another video of mine. It means a lot. So today's video is going to be another project pan update because we are finishing August and going into September. So if you want to see what is my project pan update for this month, then keep on watching and I'll leave also the project pan playlist down below in my description box if you want to see my previous videos related to my project pan of this year. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more, then press subscribe and let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Let's begin, shall we? I always show you my product pan update according to how I apply my makeup products. So obviously we start with the primer. So the primer that we have going on still is the Catrice Goodbye Pores Primer. I feel like it is getting emptier and emptier by the minute. I mean, if I had to do this test work, ugh, I would push all the product down. Really now I think I can start showing you the progress of this primer. But please note that I've used this primer since the beginning of my project pan update or maybe a month after my project pan update. So I have marked my primer over here. Now I don't know if this is a correct marking, but I do feel like I'm better able to track it now because it get, it is getting squishier and squishier as you can see. Moving on, I'm gonna keep that obviously. I'm gonna finish these primers by the end of the year. Okay, so this is the Revolution Blurring Primer and yeah, I mean, it's going down slowly, but surely it is going down and this is where we're at. That's not bad, I think. I think that is quite an accomplishment throughout the year. I mean, the bottle is fully like half done. It's half half left. So that's a primer is done. I mean, I've been trying to use my makeup more this month. So yes, the next thing is foundation. Now foundation, I've been using the Super Dewy by Revolution. Absolutely love this foundation. Very lightweight, very clear. I mean, perfect for the summer. It feels like you have nothing on your skin. I mean, it doesn't have like that best full coverage effect, but to be honest, in summer, you wouldn't want that because it will feel too much on your skin. But I kind of like this. I don't really know where I am with this bottle, but I've used this every single, nearly not, not every single day, maybe like three times a week. I would say I've used this and it's not finished, it's not nearly done, but I've used this, okay? So I don't know if I can track this, so I cannot track this, but you have to best believe me that I've used this, okay? Looking for my concealer. So for my concealer, we have the Essence Camouflage Concealer. Now, I've used this every single day because I apply my eyeshadow every single day, so I would need to prime my lids. And this is not done yet. I mean, product is still coming out, so I can't really say that this is done. I was hoping to have it finished by this month, but it ain't done yet. So we'll just keep this for another month and hope to God that obviously that next month, or at least the month after that, this will be finished. But so far this year, I've finished one, con oh, no, two concealers. So two, and that's all. Okay. So for powders, we have, so we have the Maybelline Matte Maker, which has a pan in it, but to be honest, I have never used it this month. So I will try to use it more this month. I know I said last month I will try and use this one more, but I was gravitating more towards the other one. But then we have the Rimmel Stay Met. Now from here you would think, oh, okay, yeah, but there's no change. Oh, but wait, because there is. Do you see that there is a tiny, but surely there is a pan <laughs> over there in the middle? <laughs> Like it's there, okay? And I had to show it to you very, very close because you wouldn't notice it. But it is right there. And I'm very, very happy with myself that I've hit pan on this powder. I mean, that is a major accomplishment. So those were the face products and I'll go to the brow product. For the brows, we have the Catrice Brow Color Semi Permanent Mascara, which is this one right here. I've been using it every day. Hasn't finished yet. Well, not every day because when I get my brows laminated now, I don't tend to use much brow product. And then I have this one. This was a Catrice eyebrow pen. And this is how long it is now. I mean, I feel like I've sharpened it maybe three times since our last product pan update. But I mean, I'm going to only continue sharpening it. And I feel like it's already gotten much smaller 
since I've introduced it, I think I would say two, two or three months ago. Let's just show you the last of the face products and then we'll move on to the eyeshadow. They're a nightmare, basically. They never want to end. So we have the Physician's Formula, the Butter Bronzer. This is what it looks like. I mean, there's only a bit more product left. Not much. I mean, I will keep it till the end of the year, but I'm hoping that this obviously will finish. Then we have the Rimmel Radiance Brick Bronzer. To be honest, I've been like trying to use this more and more. I mean, it has flattened out quite a bit, but there's no pan whatsoever. But I've been using it and I'm not gonna give up. <laughs> and then we have the Wet n Wild, the Apricot in the Middle Blush. Still no pan, but again, I've been using it. I don't know. I think we're reaching the goal here. One day, maybe one day, guys. And then the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Yeah, we ain't gonna finish this. I don't believe we're gonna finish it. We'll just leave it there. But we ain't gonna finish this. I mean, it has gotten flatter, but these pans are really big. I never realized how big these things are and like how impossible it is to finish these things off. Honestly, it is impossible. Just saying. So then we have this mascara. This one was the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. I absolutely love this mascara. And it did not give me trouble at all. I barely had any transfer on my lids. So it's sad to see this because I, I like tran I like swapping out my foundation and my mascara every month. But I'm going to be swapping this one out. But not because I don't like it, but because, you know, it's how I'm doing my project pan. But I actually really like this. I do, I think I do tend to gravitate towards this quite often anyway. I think it's important, I think, now to show the eyeshadow. Okay, so last month I introduced a new eyeshadow palette. This one was from Pixie. It's one of their new ones. It was a collaboration with Tina Young. And basically, here it is. As you can see, you can already tell that I have some pans going on. And that is because I do. So we can see quite a number of pans over here. So we have one over here. We have another one over here. And then we have another one over here, over here, and over here. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Even last month, I actually had five pans. I kind of like switched between looks. I kind of did use this a bit um, with this quite often. I used this and this, I feel. I used this a lot. I used this with the shimmer shade. And I also had a different like look where I would use one, two, and three. And I think something of this or this um, with the gold shimmer. I did quite a bit. I mean, I never used the greens or the blues because I would obviously use this more for an everyday eyeshadow palette. But I feel like I did very well. You know, I'm doing very well with my eyeshadow. I've been hitting pans on my eyeshadow palettes. So I'm very happy. I mean, it's a palette at a time, which is good. Oh my God, it's so dirty. Like it is, it is so dirty. Like, look at that. But I feel like obviously now that it has done its time, I'm going to go put it back into my collection. Very happy about that. That, that was very good. That was an accomplishment. That's what we have. Then we have some lipsticks. We have three lipsticks. So I have the Volume, so the Generation Plum and Shine from Catrice. Let's just leave it another month. Maybe I'll start reaching for it a bit. And then we have the Catrice Volumizing Lip Booster, which at the start of the month, I feel like I did pick up. But then as the month went along, I feel like I neglected it. So I'm going to replace that with something else. And then we have the Avon Lipstick. And this one is the, the one called Blushing Brilliance. And it's this one right here. It's a very pinky, pinky lipstick. It's not my usual type, but I like taking it to work with me. And well, nobody's not gonna see it because obviously at work I stay with my mask on, but I like using it during work. There's no difference on this color, on this book. So it's useless me showing you, but I swear I did use it a bit. And then we have some other bits. So we have the Pixie Setting Spray, which has gone through quite a journey. As you can see, there's the like markings over there and this is where we are this month over here. So we only have this much left and honestly it's coming out like it's spraying really badly. So I don't know if I'm going to just use this or like just finish it off by throwing it away. But yeah, I'm going to give this a try. I love this. This is the Rose Glow Mist. It's one of my favorite pixie setting sprays by far. It's actually really sad for me that I'm finishing it. And then we have the NSPA Wit Real Honey Jelly Scrub, which again, I just have this much left. So I hope that next month I will actually finish it. So yay to me. I don't mark it because simply because they always wash off. And then we have the Strawberry Macaroon Hand and Body Butter. To be honest, I was doing very well, but I barely used it this month. In fact, there's no change. I didn't mark a change. This is where we are. 
and yeah same goes for the hand cream i only have just a little bit left honestly but it's like i'm still able to use it so it hasn't much that it hasn't done much different i did finish some other stuff this month because i also show you my empties of the month so i finished the ordinary nice and i literally today before filming this video so i said oh brilliant i can include it in today's video I finished also this one, the Violet Crush Shampoo. So this can go to the bin as well. Absolutely love the shampoo and conditioner. And then I also finished my mask, the Honey Oatmeal Mask. Oh, I had that other mask, which I'm just going to insert a picture here because I haven't used it this much, this month. I actually used this one, I finished this one and I used some sheet mask, another mask, but I'll try and finish that mask over there. Yeah, this one is obviously completely done so i can throw this away so i'm very happy about that i finished obviously the honey and oatmeal one this is my second face mask that i finished this year so i'm very happy with that okay so that is mostly it okay so that is like all the products i have in my product pan and now i'm just going to introduce a new foundation and a new eyeshadow and new lipstick and a new mascara so as for foundation i'm going to be introducing the matte base for blurring full coverage foundation from revolution i really love this and i know that i only just have a little bit left so i hope maybe i'll finish it i don't know i can't really tell how much i left i think i literally have left like here till here so there's not much so maybe i can we'll see for lipstick i'm going to be introducing oh the packaging of these lipsticks are horrible man this is the shade this one is a shade called stripped absolutely love this shade so maybe i will gravitate towards this quite a bit then for mascara i'm going to be using the i need a miracle volumizing and strengthening mascara from essence i always love essence mascaras so i cannot complain for this one and that is the wand of it and then for eyeshadow we have this one i've dug out quite an old one but i think i like it for my everyday eyeshadow this is the carly bible deluxe edition who remembers this palette 21 color eyeshadow and highlighter palettes but i'm going to only focus on the eyeshadows so these are the ones i'm going to be focusing on i'm going to be doing some nice pinky purpley looking looks so i will focus on that part of the palette i want to use this one yeah so this is the eyeshadow palette that we have for this month i feel like i'm, I'm able to sort of start panning the eyeshadow palette each month but the rest of the products i'm like struggling with I think that is my product pan update i hope you enjoyed it yeah i've been loving this project pan up little this project pan series and i hope that next year i think i'm going to be doing more of an eyeshadow one i think i feel i don't know we'll see we'll see what we'll get up to i hope you enjoyed watching my video if you did give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye